As Dean of the I. Ray Fulton College of Engineering at Brigham Young University, it is my pleasure to welcome each of you to our college convocation. Graduates, we congratulate you not only on what you have accomplished, represented by today's ceremonies, but by what you have become. We acknowledge the presence here of Rosemary Thackeray, Assistant to the President for Assessment and Planning and, and member of the BYU President's Council. We also acknowledge our Associate Deans and Department Chairs seated here in the Engineering Building as well as faculty and staff from the Ira A. Fulton College of Engineering who are joining remotely. I want to mention that our graduating class consists of 789 stu students, 689 of those receiving bachelor's degrees, 83 receiving master's degrees, and 17 receiving doctoral degrees today. We wish that we could gather uh, together to celebrate with you and with your family and friends, but please know that we as staff, faculty, and administrators here in the college and at the university celebrate you and what you have accomplished. Our invocation will be offered by Nathaniel Flint, who is receiving his bachelor's degree in civil engineering. Following the invocation, Beverly Delgado, who is receiving her bachelor's degree in chemical engineering, and Jennifer Hale, who is receiving her bachelor's degree in electrical engineering, will speak to us as representatives of the graduating class. Our dear Heavenly Father, we are so very grateful for this day and for this opportunity to have attended Brigham Young University and be a part of the College of Engineering. We're so thankful for the opportunities we've had here and for the friendships we've made and for all of the lessons we've learned and the strength we've gained. We're so thankful for all the work that has gone into having this convocation this day and being able, being able to graduate from here with all that we have experienced and gained. Plus, we'll all be able to have a good day this day and be able to make memories and remember all that we have learned as we go forth to serve and represent this school and this church. Plus, plus that we'll be able to travel in safety this day and have a good day. And we say these things in the name of Christ. Amen. Good afternoon, everyone. I am honored for the opportunity to speak before you today. To begin with, I'd like to share some of my experiences at BYU. I knew for a long time that I wanted to study chemical engineering. How, however, what I didn't know was how challenging it would actually be. Engineering was incredibly difficult because of the material we got to learn, but even more difficult in the social side of things. To give a little bit of a background, I am a first-generation college student Guatemalan, and a woman in engineering who grew up in LA. I never thought any of these things would make me different from everyone because my home has always been a very diverse place. Really, I never thought it would matter because my parents always taught me that I'm capable of doing anything I want to accomplish in this life through hard work and not through luck or circumstances. Then I got to BYU and I had a culture shock. I was different in many more ways than I cared to admit. And my family's circumstances deprived me from many valuable experiences and connections that I felt left me at a disadvantage. My freshman year, all I did was school because I felt I had a lot of catching up to do. The sad part is that I chose to do it alone. It wasn't until my second semester sophomore year that I truly found my place. I made a few friends with whom uh, we did all the homework together and studied together. They are the reason that I survived engineering and why I started feeling like I belong in a place that previously felt so foreign. None of these friends will ever understand my background, but they accepted me anyway. Over the course of the engineering program, I'm sure we have all felt like outsiders at one point because there's always someone who is smarter than us or better at something than we are. But the engineering school has been like a home away from home. Even in our loneliest times, there has always been someone there, whether it's another student or a professor or anyone else. But I love this because the culture here is one of inclusion where we all want each other to succeed. I remember my freshman year. I was assigned to work with a professor on a coal combustion project as part of a mentorship. It was in the first week of school that I met Dr. Fry and his team of undergraduates. I was so intimidated by everyone. I was just this little 18 year old fresh out of high school working with incredibly talented seniors in the chemical engineering department and I thought I could never be like them. With all my insecurities coming in, 
um, graduation seemed unattainable. Now I am here, we are here, and we have become those seniors, those smart, amazing people I looked up to for so long. Slowly, one step at a time, we have become engineers, moving forward to become even better engineers, leaders, parents, but most importantly, to change the world. I am so grateful for this day because today marks the day that we finished moving a mountain. In my finance class last year, my professor shared a spiritual thought in which he said, we can move mountains by taking one step at a time because by doing so, when we get to the top, it is no longer above us, but beneath our feet. Today, the mountain that was engineering is now beneath our feet. For the past four years, we took one step at a time, which looked like late night studying in the Clyde step down, rolling out of bed to get to our 8 a.m. classes or eating ramen three times a day. Then COVID hit and each step felt so much harder to take, not having our friends to help us through the difficult homeworks and studying for tests. It was hard to have our favorite classes be cut short and lose motivation feeling like the world was going to end, but we survived online classes along with surviving our rigorous engineering programs. These have been some very challenging years, but we, the class of 2021, are here because we can do hard things. And we can do hard things because God is on our side. Even through all those times we wanted to give up, we still kept pushing forward because with God, anything is possible. I'm so grateful for my time at BYU because it provided us with a balance of school and spiritual edification. There are many engineering principles I have probably already forgotten, but I will never forget how my professors made me feel. They cheered us on, helped us through the hard days, even if it wasn't necessarily school related, and helped us stay strong in our faith. I am grateful for my professors because they have changed my life. Ooh, wow. Okay, um, because they have changed my life in ways they will never know through the wisdom and examples they shared with us. On behalf of the class of 2021, I also want to, want to thank our parents, families, friends, mentors, and anyone who helped us through this difficult journey. For me personally, my parents have been my biggest cheerleaders. They have felt all my fears, tears, stresses, anxieties, but they have also shared all my joys and excitements. I thank them for that. As we move on from this stage in our lives, I invite you to never forget the sacrifices made by those around us that have helped us make it to this day. Never forget the role God has played in accomplishing these goals. Most importantly, never stop dreaming. If you're anything like me, Coming to BYU and studying engineering was a dream come true. Now that we have accomplished this goal, let us keep dreaming and let us keep moving mountains. We have earned this degree through hard work. Now it is up to us to go out into the world and do some good. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. I am privileged to be speaking to you all today as a representative of this graduating class. Congratulations to all the graduates and a special thank you to the parents, teachers, and peers who have supported us along the way. Truly today has been long awaited by many of us as we have been steadily approaching graduation for many years. Each of us has had a different path getting here and a time like this calls for some reflection. Over the past few years, what have we learned? How have we grown? How can we take those things we've learned and apply it to what's ahead of us? A common theme that has come up in my education here at BYU has been that of experiential learning, learning by engaging in direct experiences with focused reflection afterwards. Our experiences have molded us to be the people we are today. This concept was first taught to me by my professor, Dr. Schultz, when I went on a renewable energy study abroad uh, to Spain. He really emphasized to us that we should embrace this opportunity to the fullest to try everything, to explore the country and the culture, and to meet and engage with people, even if you have really terrible Spanish. Though my trip started with me being horribly lost on the streets of Alcala before I ever even made it to the university, it ended with a new confidence in myself and a love of travel. 
I stood on the top of a castle tower. I took a salsa class in Madrid. It was several weeks full of unique experiences. And none of that would have happened if I hadn't decided to immerse myself in the possibilities. Many of us have shared typical engineering experiences, like late nights in the Catum Labs, Capstone, other senior projects, uh, study groups that we spent more time with than our spouses or roommates, um, just to name a few. We have slaved over our homework and cried after midterms, struggling to meet our own expectations. But we have also succeeded in so much. We have designed and built projects we initially thought impossible. We have dived into research we never heard of before and came up with unique solutions to the problems at hand. I'll never forget being assigned to the Robotic Vision Lab as a brand new freshman, as a part of the freshman mentorship program. I had never coded before in my life, yet by the end of the year, I had designed my own program on a Raspberry Pi. Now I look back on all the additional skills I've developed since then. We have come a long way. Just being here today means that we have triumphed through this chapter of our lives and can confidently move into the next. While I know we all loved all the homework assignments uh, that we were given, I do hope your college experience was not limited solely to the academic pursuits. From cheering on the Cougars at Lavelle Edwards Stadium, hiking the mountains surrounding us, taking a dance class, joining an intramural team or a club, we have all made some unforgettable memories here at BYU. These hobbies and experiences will stay with us for years to come. My first year here at BYU, fresh from Texas, I built my very first snowman. For those wondering, there is in fact a technique to it. Uh, but after learning from initial failure and with the help of some friends, a tall, though maybe a little deformed snowman was built. Definitely not a feat of engineering, but a fun experience that I will always treasure. Our experiences can also be defined by the people that we share them with. While here at BYU, we have lived and served together as a community. Whether it be helping each other with homework, catching a devotional together, or letting a friend know where the free food is on campus, we have gone through these years together and supported each other through it all. COVID-19 dramatically changed our final time here at BYU, but it has not taken away from us the community that we built together. To conclude, as we embark into the world to go forth and serve, I invite each of you to remember all that you've experienced and learned. Think on how we, you have changed from when you first walked onto campus, however many years ago. You are ready. You have learned to be an ethical, creative, and inspiring engineer. May you continue to learn from your experiences as you venture forth into the challenges, wonders, and opportunities of life. Thank you. Now, Beverly and Jennifer, what I loved about what you both taught us today is recognizing the difference between as you came in as who you were as you came in as freshmen and who you have become. This is a crowning principle of the gospel of Jesus Christ and the whole reason for the plan of salvation. It's about what we become. And I think everyone can feel uh, what you have developed and in fact the entire graduating class has developed in terms of becoming something new. Following this broadcast, many of our departments or individual degree programs will host online events to individually celebrate each of the graduates. Information regarding those events has been communicated to the graduates by their departments. Now, graduates, as you move to the next phase of your life, I remind you that your BYU education is a great gift, one that many people wish that they could receive. In 1832, the prophet Joseph Smith was presiding at a council of high priests and elders of the church when he received inspiration to remind these men that, quote, for of him unto whom much is given, much is required. You have been given much during your time at BYU, and you have much to offer the world. Never fail to be that light to those that are around you that struggle to see the correct path because it is obscured by darkness and mists of confusion. The benediction today will be offered by Natalie Gray, who received her bachelor's degree in civil engineering. This benediction will then conclude this ceremony and this broadcast. Natalie. Dear Heavenly Father, we are so very grateful for this day and the opportunity we have to celebrate in the, um, celebrate in the graduates, both here in this room as well as all over the world. We're also very grateful for the technology that allows us to do so. We're also very grateful for everyone who has helped us graduate today, for all the parents and friends and family and teachers who 
have helped us along the way and supported us and lifted us. Please bless that as we go about the rest of our um, life and through our career that we may be successful and that we can remember our BYU education and career and the time we spent here with our friends. And I say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.